Hello, me. Meet the real me. I'm the guy that does the video autopsies. What's going on, guys? Shane D., your best friend in the entire world, back with a delicious... This looks disgusting. This looks absolutely disgusting, but I am curious to know how you make the Dave Mustaine Megadeth meatloaf. If you are a, uh, if you've ever been to Arizona, then you know that Alice Cooper's Town was a restaurant. It is now closed. It closed after 20 years of business. And on that menu was the Megadeth meatloaf. So relax, because today you're going to be able to take away with you the step-by-step -step process for making this, what uh, just looks absolutely horrifying to me. This looks like something you'd see on an alien ship like Star Trek. Yeah, give me some of that Megadeth meatloaf. You know, and the machine would just zap it, and it would be sitting right there in your, you know, maybe the Korg's bar or something, you know. You have yourself a nice purple Whoopi Goldberg, you know, it delivers you a nice big purple drink, and you, you have a big dollop of this on your on your plate. But uh, we're going to learn how to make this. They've got the top chef from Cooperstown, so this is probably pretty old. But we've got, we're going to just zip on through this, and we're going to see... Uh, what it's all about and how you exactly make this uh, 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 Megadeth meatloaf. So let's do it. There's the, the chef right there and to prove it he's got the blue gloves. She is of course the uh, pretty attractive um, news lady. The, the news lady has to stand there with him and go, so what are you doing? Of course there's two big plops of uh, beef there. So let's get into this and see exactly how to make the Megadeth meatloaf. But I don't think I can pull it off. Oh, you're gonna, you're, you can do this. You, <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> you can do help me with the spices here. First, okay. first thing we're gonna do is, yeah. we gotta get our, uh, we gotta get our uh, bread going here. So we're gonna just- uh, Jeff Myers, general manager. Right here. Cooper's and Town like Restaurant. Half and half. Okay, get, get all that stir it up. combined like that. Jeff, stir it we've up. We've just got some bread that we use at work. This is our hamburg bun. We just chop it up into chunks there. We just want to get this in there. We want to get this kind of just... Okay, the first thing I'm going to... I'm not going to stop this too much. We're going to go through the process. She's already looking at the time. Okay. Oh, very interesting. Um, is the, the restaurant is now closed, but there's two reasons for that. Um, there's two reasons why a restaurant closes. And you saw a good look at that, that meatloaf. It's either, well, what's the first one? Location, location, location. If you ain't in a good spot, baby, if you don't have the tits location, then you are going to not stay in business long. It has to be easy to get to. It has to be uh, a delightful and a clean uh, place, but it has to be uh, in a good location. And then the other thing would be food. If the food is not good, people do not come back to eat there again. So, um... You know, I mean, let's just, you know, um, anyways, let's get back. Jeff, go ahead. Wet a little bit, and then just set this aside. Takes the hot, the, the hamburger buns. Set this aside for as long as you can until, people leave until over. all that liquid in the bottom is absorbed up by the bread. Oh, yeah. It, can it get too mushy? No. It no, cannot, no, okay. no, it's simply. You want it mushy. I always puree my, my bread, but I like the chunky. No, the, the, the chunky bread is works better. It gets in there, and it, it, when it bakes back up again, it makes your meatloaf light. Why so would you puree we'll your bread? Pork. This is just standard pork. You, nothing special about it. Now, now beef. Oh, pork together. and beef. Is That's it, interesting. Now, is it my, are you, can you sure. step in it? Yeah, you can go ahead. Okay, <laughs> That's a little bit of salt. A little bit of salt. A little bit of salt. We, we, use a tr we use a trinity in here, which is onion. Ooh. Pepper. And we got black pepper. See, we this is thick in my here. mouth water. Uh, Carrots? Garlic white, powder? White pepper. White pepper. White pepper. Bell pepper. Bell pepper. Ooh, Bell pepper. God damn, Bell Jeff. Powder. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Red bell pepper. Cumin. Cumin. She is, she's going through all the, the goddamn dishes. See how smart I am? I know. I know what's in those. There's not even any kind of paperwork or like a tag on it saying what it is. And I'm guessing and I'm, and I'm doing a very good job. And then, of course, just a little bit, just a tiny bit of uh -huh. garlic just to, get it, just to get it going. Just a horseradish. tiny big bowl of it. Did he say <laughs> horseradish? Hold on. I apologize. I want to know what that is because I am a fan of horseradish. Cumin. Cumin. And then, of course, just a little bit, just a tiny bit of garlic, just to get it. Just garlic. Just a tiny, bit. tiny right. big bowl so, of it. Where's the <laughs> horseradish, like, Jeff? You know, you would let this sit for a little while, and then you put all that in there like that there. 
Okay, that's interesting. Falling down back here. You can probably hear them at home. Now, here's, here's the best part. You got to get your, you got to mm -hmm. get in there. There's get it in. Of course You it can't is. do this with a spoon. You right. can't do this with a machine. Right. You have to get your hands in here. You could do it with one of those big bread uh, dough mixers. I mean, technically. You could do that, Jeff. And make it just get all nice and happy here. in there. There you go. Yeah. We'll do it together. Oh, um, we'll do so it together, Jeff. Tell me the name of, of Megadeth Meat Loaf. Oh, Megadeth is a, is a rock band, and the lead singer in the band, uh, Dave Mustaine. God! You damn straight, it's Dave Mustaine. Fellow me, meet the real me. <laughs> hey, good Oh, turn that off. Black past. See, I set that up. I'm a professional. He's also this. a partner at Cooperstown. So Part, some partner of the at Cooperstown. That we have that are more of the celebrity oriented. We like to name menu items after them. I like it. Kind of honor them on the menu. So, so basically, what we're going to do here is we're just going to kind of mash it up, Jeff. We're going to kind of get it into a loaf right there. Okay. Yeah, that's really meat loaf. Here. And now, this oh, I moved it. Now, how do you turn a beautiful product like that into that? Come on, Jeff. This is perfectly nice. I get my glove, sorry. <laughs> okay. All right, so here's a little trick to, to, to do is we make a little, of course, everybody knows, spray the pan. Yeah, spray right? the pan. Duh, spray the pan, you don't want it to stick. But here's a real cool trick that we use in the restaurant. We actually put the parchment paper, paper in here. Yeah. That's how you're going to get it out. What is it called? Parking paper? It's not paper? only how you're going to get it out. It also helps absorb some of the fat and oils when it's cooking. It makes the pan you don't. a heck of a lot easier to now, clean. Now, why do you still have to spray it then? Just because just, it's just going to so go yeah, through? Just so the parchment paper doesn't oh stick, my too, God, stick, Maria. To the, stick to the pan. Okay. So then we just take this and then just Please be quiet. The, drop it in there nice and carefully like that. I like that it idea. It stews of, in the uh, juice. It keeps the grease. I've never tried that before, but that's going to make this so moist. I agree. So what you do, and you want to make sure you pack it down really. Maria's good. got a good the point there. I never knew. I, I've only, only done ground beef. I've cut, never done holes in the, you'll have holes pork in the loaf. and ground yeah. beef. Can't have holes in the loaf. So you get it. Packed can't it have. In can't have holes in your loaf, baby. You dig? You dig? It's nice, like that. I can't, I can't believe that all that, that bread just kind of absorbed so quickly what, into that. What we do it. Yeah, and guess what, Maria? If you're pu pureeing your bread, idiot, it's, that's, it, Jeffrey knows what he's doing. You don't. Cooperstown, now, is we take, we take this, and we put it in. Yeah, we live in here in Cooperstown. So it's not, so you're not burning up your oven. Right. So we take it and we give it a, about 30 minutes in the smoker on about 200. Okay. Ooh. And that lets the smoke flavor kind of get into the meatloaf. Then out. Of and Jeff, if you can see right here, Jeffrey has had his share of Megadeth, Megadeth meatloaf. Comes in 350 degree oven. Yeah. Bam. Bam. Okay. In there until it temps about 150 in the middle. Wow. Isn't, that, that, a, isn't that a trademark phrase, hours, bam? You can't say that because the other guy says that. On it. And, I always uh, cut in and I ruin it. I know, I know. That's that's you, that's don't, you don't you don't want to let those juices get out. So you can make sure you have a temperature pr uh, to see what you're. To see what it is. We said one one four one fifty fifty. Yeah, okay. it is beef. I mean, so you don't want to cook it. She is literally trying to go toe to toe with this bro. He knows what he's doing. Maria, you are just a lousy. Uh, maybe you're not lousy, but you're just a news broadcaster. This man has lived a life of cooking. Too well done. Jesus, it out. Yeah, it gets all shriveling. That's correct. All right. That's correct. So. Well, very good. We're going to go here and we're going to do some mashed potatoes and some gravy. Yeah, we've got a lot. We've got several. Oh, you're making the, the, the mash just, and like, the tapes? out of the oven and serve it. We do all kinds of crazy things to a Cooper's Town. You'll Red see mashed potatoes and gravy back in 20 yeah, minutes. Yeah, really. All right. Is that, is that all for that? Okay, I love it. I cannot believe it. Coming up, we've got those uh, Red Skin mashed potatoes. Okay, let's get over to Red Skin mashed potatoes. Made in the first segment. Actually, we're not done with that. We're no, not we done. Ain't. We're going to hit it we're a little still, bit later. Yeah, we do. So, we, we, we make these at the restaurant. These red, red skin mashed potatoes. This is very basic, very simple. I like red, I like red potatoes. Red I like mashed, salt, uh, pepper, regular butter, potatoes. Half half, just mashed. I brought, I brought them prepared already from the restaurant because it's kind of a big, cumbersome thing to make mashed potatoes. Well, on sure it is, yeah. The next, another component of the dish is... Ellis Cooper Restaurant. Our Call that gravy. number if you want to have our beef gravy from a base time. Because we smoke all our meat there. We don't have... We don't obtain the juices. And if when you make uh, gravy with smoke juice it's it's not good it tastes burnt because okay. it intensifies the flavor okay. right then we've got the onion strings the texas toast that goes on the bottom to make the sandwich so I'm we're, speaking we're, my language so we're, so you know. they're making we're a meatloaf sandwich first we're going to get the texas toast going this is a simple piece of texas toast some butter here 
Just like you're making a grilled cheese sandwich. Okay. Put a little butter on one side. Is there okay. any person on the planet that doesn't love Texas toast? I don't. I don't. I don't think so. I don't think so. Either. Even in Arizona, out here, we love Texas toast. And real simple. Just we're just gonna put it in. A, we're just gonna put it in the pan here, and just gonna kind of let that get happy there, crisp up a little. Well, that gets happy. I gotta ask you, how often does does Alice Cooper come into the restaurant? He's there quite a bit, actually. Really? When he's in town, he he tours a lot, so does all kinds of stuff. But when he's in town, he comes in quite a bit. Uh, Maria, why do you care? You didn't know who Dave Mustaine is. How the hell do you know who Alice Cooper is? I see him probably about a dozen times a year. And uh, he always asked me about uh, my golf. He's like, have you been golfing? Have you been golfing? Because he's a big golf nut. <laughs> 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 Do you golf? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well? Do you golf? There's no way. She Look at her. She's going, bullshit. Jeffrey, you're lying. You haven't walked on a golf course. You, you're one of those guys that get the golf cart, don't you? You have yourself a big old plug, a Megadeth meatloaf, and then you go golfing and you use the cart to, walk, to drive. Drive to the holes. Let me feel your, the back of your arms. I bet you they're not toned at all. You're lying about golfing, Jeffrey. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, about as well as I cook. So, uh, That's not bad, though. Uh, but, he, but he'll come in, and he, the barbecue's his big thing. He'll come in, he'll try the barbecue, and then he'll be like, hey, hey, something doesn't taste right. Why does the Ooh. pork taste this way? And I'll be like, oh, but you've got to look into that. Okay, Alice will take care of it. Oh, Jesus. That's what you say on TV? Alice Cooper comes into his restaurant and says, this pork tastes like shit. What's going on? Oh, geez, I'm going to have to look into that. Oh, wow. That so, would I mean, be, you think, talk about the pressure. Alice yeah, you, Cooper telling you, something doesn't taste right. Right. I mean, you you think, don't oh, do you that when you're, oh, you're trying to get business. Why are they talking about things that don't taste right in the restaurant? I bet Alice Cooper slapped his bare ass when he got back over there. He doesn't really know what's going on there. He knows but what's he going knows, on. Oh, yeah. yeah, he does. So. Well, back to the Texas He didn't ask you about your golf game we're this time, buddy. Yeah, we're, get, we're, getting, we're just getting it happy. That's, that's, kind, of, that's like kind of perfect okay. right there. Back so the while strings. we're doing this here, okay. Getting it happy have, means uh, toasting it. For the top. When you're going to fry stuff, it's important it's dry. So the first thing I'm going to do is take these because I cut them a little while ago, and they've got a little moisture on them, so I'm just going to take a paper towel and oh, kind really? of that's an interesting do this to them and get them kind of nice and dry. Better for frying. Okay. Drop huh. those in there. And then this is buttermilk. So just going to take the buttermilk, put that in there. Oh. And we just want that to basically just kind of get coated up in oh, here. Oh, he's making those... Uh, oh, my fingers? I don't mind. No. He's making those hor horrible uh, alien-looking onion rings. Does that look like... Jesus, that just looks like... Oh, my God. Someone took a damn dump on a plate. No, no, I... I'm not afraid. I have all these. I have all these great tools to use. So. Might as well use them. Right. That's right. So, I mean, basically, you just want you just want to get that coated. Buttermilk, so onion we're gonna rings. Do is we're going to take this other big bowl. What we have here, we've got our flour mix, which is rice flour, cornmeal, salt, pepper, and a, and a little bit of uh, cornstarch. I just want to make sure that doesn't burn. <laughs> I so want a piece of that. <laughs> we'll throw that in there. And take to put the onion strings in there. I'm going to move that off the there burner you for you. Now what we're doing, we just want to get these just coated up a little bit. And then he's got the uh, the pan of oil there. He's coating the onion rings, and then of course he'll drop he them down into the oil. I mean, it's actually. A lot yeah, he'll drop them right down in there, and you're going to hear him and sizzle. You've got this at uh, what temperature right here? About 350. Okay. And I've got about 3,000 degrees got on, uh, when I plunge your face in. And the best way to fry, best way to fry at home. Fill your, use enough oil, that's first of all, and uh -huh. then put, put a, only fry a little bit at a time. So we're just going to fry a little time. bit. Look at that. Sizzle, of this sizzle. Stuff here. When you fry a little, little bit at a time, you, you uh, keep your oil stays at temperature. Okay. Right. Otherwise, it, it starts to lower a little bit. Right. Okay. So I'm just going to get this out of my way here. And then these are real simple. Just, Whoops, I flipped some of that grease in your face you know, there, Maria. Sorry about like that. Where are these going? They're going with, like, yeah, on the is, side? Or? No, 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 no. These, this is the very end of it. This is the very end of the top. <laughs> no, no, so no. When, you, when you see the bubbles stop bubbling up like that, means it's let go of most of its moisture, and it's, oh, very good. They're, ready, they're ready to come out. I always fun. love visual cues in cooking because it really kind of helps you avoid yeah, the disaster. Exactly, that does for it sure. It sure does, Maria. It sure does. All right. Do you do any catering, by the way, over at Cooper? I mean, sure. Yeah, we absolutely do. I put a little bit of spice on those, and I just eat them right up. I love onions. You sauteed onions and fried onions. Oh, oh, I love cater it. cater to as few as 10, as many as 2,000. And we've done several events. We're doing the state fair this year. And, Are you really? Yeah, we do Bear Jackson. And, and, oh, uh, my goodness. Good for you, Jeffrey. Jesus. Around, How's the around, staff? Around town. Okay. around town. All right, well, I'm going to let you finish up whatever you need to do yep. there. And then I can't wait to see how this thing's going to come together. All right, we'll put it together next time. Okay, here we go. So we've got, so I'm assuming this is the Texas toast. 
This is going to be the meatloaf. I bet it tastes pretty good. That's his hairy hand right there. Uh, and the onions on top. So let's go and check it out. It's Jeff Myers, General Manager from Alice Cooper's Town Restaurant. It's good to have you here. We've made Megadeth, Megadeth, I don't know why I'm having a tough time saying that. Like oh, better go over here, baby. My <laughs> most valued possession. Most valued possession is his beautiful Megadeth meatloaf. Thank you. You say it more rocky than I do. <laughs> Megadeth. <laughs> With potatoes and the Texas toast and some gravy and some onions. Imagine some old lady coming in and was it what? I don't want the Megadeth. I want the Megadeth meatloaf? Get the hell These out of here. Strings or rings or whatever you want to call them. It's assembly time. Let's do it. So we... So we, we took it out of the oven and, and it's Jeffrey it's Myers, we love you, General yeah, Manager. Putting that parchment paper really helps. Wait a minute. General Manager? So he not even the cook. But he said, oh, I'm doing the TV spot. I'm not the head chef. I'm not even a sous chef. I'm the general manager. But I'm going on the TV show. And I'm going to prepare Megadeth meatloaf. Like, absolutely, absolutely. Again, Jeffrey. We, we took it out so we wouldn't make a mess. We took it out off camera. Uh, we're up to our to, we're up to our temp there. So now we're ready to go ahead, and we're just gonna. I'm just gonna give it. I a mean, the meatloaf right looks here, beautiful. So I would take a big old pound nice of that. And yummy. This. In is. case anybody's just tuning in, uh, we've got this recipe that's gonna Look be available online. But we also look for too. that center temperature to be at about 150, which my depending mouth on is your watering, oven, Jeffrey. About an hour, so just keep an eye on that. <laughs> so we leave the vegetables. Big chunks. We want you to see them, and, and it also helps to keep the meatloaf loafy and fluffy, not not too dense. Loaf it up, so you baby. Can see, we got some nice, got some nice density in there, and now I'm going to cut off a nice big. This oh, is yeah. this about the portion that we cut in the restaurant. If I was there, Jeffrey, you'd, I'd be saying, "You son of a bitch, you cut that a bit thicker for me." Oh my goodness! So we're gonna now. We're gonna Do you start. Need this? Yeah, we're gonna start. We start. We got we got our Texas toast all nice, nice, nice mm -hmm. and crisp up nice, there. So nice, start nice. With that. All right. Happy. And then, Oof. oh, yeah, it didn't fall apart. How about that? <laughs> yes, some <Wow>. serious skills. <laughs> Get out Over of here, here, Jeffrey. Now we're going to look how beautiful that is. Look at all those vegetables, and it looks great. And there's, I, I didn't pack Oh, that's it, the mashed I, potatoes. I so it wasn't packed. You can see a couple air pockets in there, so you got to make sure you pack it nice and tight. Are you kidding me? That is perfection. Oh, God, You're I too need hard the hell out of that right now. You should see my meatloaf at home. It's got, like, the whole... She's hitting on this guy. You should see my meatloaf at home, Jeffrey. I know you're lying about that golfing thing and stuff, but you should come over and 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 really investigate my meatloaf, Jeffrey. Center's empty. <laughs> yeah, so we got a red skin on top. And now we uh, red skin nice potatoes on top here. And he you didn't, like that red skin? He didn't teach us how to do the gravy. Yeah, okay, so the gravy creamier. is they're what makes creamier. it. They're definitely creamier. I mean, I think they're better than russets for mashed potatoes. I really you wish you would have done nice the gravy and recipe. And leave, some on the, <laughs> leave some on the plate. Because as you get into the middle of this with the bread, you want to be able to get, uh, you want to be able to get sauce in every bite. Oh. Now, of course. All right, well, you Nobody do that. can stand that stuff on the rim I of the know, plate, so we got to get rid of that. Let me ask now, you, while you're doing there. this, let me ask you real quick. I want to, okay, go ahead, go ahead. Let's go ahead. Okay. Well, now we're just going to finish it. We're just going to take, take the onion strings we I mean, crisped up, and we're just going to kind of just cover that. it up like that on top there. I mean, Jesus. And that's Megadeth Meatloaf. That makes me well, smile. Yeah. And that's Megadeth Meatloaf. It really does. I mean, now that I've seen him too. put I'm it together, a quick second, but I do it's want not to as take, horrifying. Um, a quick second. Tell me, uh, anything cool going on uh, over at the restaurant this month? Yeah, we've got we've got a really cool event going on with this uh, gentleman. His name is Kirk, and he has a, a place called Kirk's Kids Studio. Okay. It's uh, kids music, uh, 21 and under bands. Oh. And oh, it's after school college? kind of thing. And we have them going to be at Cooperstown on High school first, kids and younger and Kirk Studio a performing our playoff game too if they can Wouldn't sneak into the, oh, yeah. sneak into that second seed we're hoping so but we're really excited about the playoff baseball as well in October which we weren't expecting yeah Jesus and, uh, let's get past this they're going to show this for another 100 minutes for the next month and um, we're in the state fair and and just come down and see us. We will. You can get this dish every day on our lunch menu at oh, half she's price gonna on take Wednesdays a big old on our plug special off it. Look at that. Uh, our Ooh. lunch menu that's every every Monday through Friday. How we I'll see you at my house later for some some of my meatloaf, Jeffrey. What say you? What did you think of that? Should we get it back on the image of the uh, the, the the the? See now that I'm seeing it like this, uh, it's not as painful. It looked disgusting before. 
Uh, but as I saw him plating it all together, even though he's not the cook, he's not the chef cook, he's not even in the cooking kitchen, he's the goddamn general manager, um, I think that would have been great. So you can take this recipe and you can and you can cook it in your own home. And the good news is you will not be sued by anybody because Cooperstown Restaurant has closed and Dave Mustaine would never eat that shit not one day of his life. Uh, that's all I got for this. Uh, if you have any video autopsies you'd like me to check out, put them down in the comments below. I love you so damn much. I'm wishing you very all the best in the entire world. I hope you make this, and if you do, you could always get a hold of me on Twitter and send me pictures and images and say, Shane, hashtag Megadeth Meatloaf, here's what I did, I made it, and here it is. Um, that's all I got for this, swinging in for kiss, loving so much, okay? Mm. Sight is always 2020, looking back, it's still a bit fuzzy.